The Bay of Plenty Regional Council monitors the effects of human activities on our environment. We also promote the sustainable management of our natural and physical resources for present and future generations. The Regional Council is committed to providing and maintaining a safe and healthy working environment for its employees, visitors and all persons using the premises as a place of work. Health and safety is the Regional Council's number one priority and we have a number of measures in place that are designed to keep everyone safe. You, as a contractor on site, have a part to play in this. At all times whilst on site, you are asked to do the following. Ensure your own safety at work. Ensure that no action or inaction by you whilst on site causes harm to another person. Observe all safe work procedures, rules and instructions. Ensure you or your company have the correct insurance cover should any incidents take place for which you are liable. Upon entering the building, all visitors and contractors must sign in. The contractor's register is located at the reception area or on level 4 of Regional House. This is if you are undertaking work on site or not. Once you have met your site contact and agreed your working arrangements, contractors can move freely on and off site providing they sign in and out of the register. On completion of this induction, you may be issued with a swipe card. This card will give you access to all areas to which you have permission. If on site outside normal hours, you will need to enter a PIN code for access to the building. This is a unique PIN code assigned to your card. Swipe cards remain the property of the Regional Council and must be returned to reception or your on site contact on completion of your work. If you have any queries regarding your swipe card, please speak with your on site contact. It is a legal requirement that you follow the health and safety rules set by the Regional Council and your own company. Failure to do so could lead to you being in breach of contract and being asked to leave site. Whilst on site, contractors could be asked to undergo a security check at any time. If you require first aid, a first aid kit is located at reception. First aid officers are clearly displayed on cards on each notice board in the building. Your site contact will point these out to you. Toilets are located on every floor, to the left and right of the elevator, or next to each stairwell. If you need to load or unload your vehicle with equipment, please use the loading bay. For other parking, your site contact will inform you of where you are able to park. The Regional Council has a smoke-free policy. All offices, depots and amenity spaces belonging to or under the control of the Council are completely smoke-free. This includes Council vehicles, and enclosed plant and machinery. Contractors or visitors who wish to smoke may do so outside the building. Smokers must dispose of cigarette butts in a safe and appropriate manner. Your site contact will show you where the designated smoking and eating areas are in the building. At all times you have a responsibility to ensure your own safety at work. The Council has a duty to take all practical steps to provide and maintain a safe working environment for our contractors. If you observe a hazard in the workplace, take action by removing it yourself if it's safe to do so, or report it to your site contact, nearby staff member or the receptionist who will ensure that immediate action is taken to control and remove the hazard. We are required to identify hazards that are likely to be encountered and if such hazards cannot be isolated or eliminated, then they are to be minimised by way of protection. A job hazard assessment should be undertaken and discussed with your site contact prior to any work commencing. You will be expected to wear the appropriate personal protective equipment at all times while carrying out any hazardous tasks. Also located at reception or on level 4 of Regional House are hazard ID control forms. If you notice any hazards while on site, you are required to report them to your site contact and fill in one of these forms so the hazard can be recorded in the site hazard register. There are some areas of the building where you are not permitted without the correct authorisation or equipment, such as the laboratories or the rooftop. These areas are restricted for your safety. If you require access to these areas, please discuss this with your site contact. There are a number of hazards you need to be aware of in an office or lab environment. 
Slips, trips and falls are the cause of many accidents in the workplace. Ensure any cables, cords or extension leads are not left trailing. Spillages are cleaned up immediately. You use the safety features of the equipment you are using. Walkways, doorways and staircases are kept clear. If you are using equipment at a height, ensure that it is secure so that it doesn't fall on someone causing injury. When using a ladder or step ladder, visually inspect the equipment to check that it is safe before use. When working and using tools, your work area must be clearly defined so as to reduce or prevent other staff from being in danger. Ensure your barriers and signage are sufficient. Should your work require you to cut off any services to the Regional Council building, power, water or data, you must first give the property team sufficient notice. Your Regional Council site contact or one of our friendly receptionists can help you with this. Should services be cut accidentally, you must immediately contact the Regional Council property team. In the event of a fire, earthquake or other emergency where the building is to be evacuated, the person making the discovery should activate the nearest fire alarm, then telephone the fire brigade by dialing 1-111. When connected, you should state that there is an emergency at the Bay of Plenty Regional Council and the address of your location. The assembly area for Whakatane is located at the front of the building, clear of the entrance. The assembly area for Mount Monganui is located at the front of the building, clear of the entrance. The assembly area for Rotorua is located at the Freedom Car Park, Rotorua. The assembly area for Regional House in Tauranga is located at the front of the building, on the opposite side of the road. The assembly area for Edgecombe is located out in the yard, clear of the entrance. The signal for evacuation will be a continuous ringing of a fire alarm. You should, if able to, without putting yourself in danger, turn off the equipment you are using and leave the building without delay through your nearest exit, or as directed by fire wardens. Do not attempt to put the fire out yourself. Attempt to overtake staff on the stairwells. Talk or text on your mobile phone while evacuating. Hinder the fire brigade. If the fire brigade want your help, they will ask you. Return to your work until the all clear has been given. Firefighting equipment is located on each level of the building. They are at the top end of the stairs, in the staff room and at reception. Use firefighting equipment if absolutely necessary and only if you are unable to leave the site. Contractors are required to report any injury or incident involving a contractor, subcontractor or its employees to their regional council contact person within 24 hours. If serious harm occurs, then you should immediately contact the contract manager and freeze the scene. The accident scene must then be left untouched until inspected by the Department of Labour. At all times on site, you are required to maintain a professional and courteous workplace manner. Your standard of dress should reflect your own company and be professional whilst practical. This would mean no torn clothes, gang patches, jandals and dirty clothes or footwear. It's a good idea to introduce yourself to staff that you are working near or around so they are informed as to what you are doing. This ensures that they can keep clear of any potential hazards and keep themselves safe as well. Please keep your language clean and respectful of others while on site. If you are using your mobile phone, be aware of your volume and if possible, move to an area away from others working. Move to the side of walkways and avoid use of your phone whilst on the stairways for your own safety. Defined as repeated inappropriate behaviour, direct or indirect, including verbal, physical or psychological, bullying or harassment of others will not be tolerated and could lead to you being in breach of contract and being asked to leave site. The Regional Council prides itself on maintaining an awareness of the environment around us. We ask that you dispose of any rubbish in the bins provided and not litter. If you have a large quantity of refuse, then please discuss with your site contact for the best way of disposal. 
After viewing this video, your site contact will provide you with a copy of the Contractor Health and Safety Induction Checklist. Please complete this form and hand back to your site contact before commencing any on-site work. Thank you for your time and viewing this important information.